Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, technology makes your life easier, doesn't it now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm Ken Rockwell. I, I'm a metadata librarian right here in the Marriott Library. And a major thing that we've been doing, as everybody's talking about, it's digital exhi exhibits time. And uh, so I was, uh, I, I'd already done one on Glen Canyon. I was trying to come up with another idea. And uh, we have a, a lot of historical photographs, you know. Um, and one of them, uh, one of our collections comes from a, a Newell Beeman, a, a century old uh, um, businessman here in Salt Lake who had a hobby of collecting uh, pictures of, of older buildings in town, including uh, historical churches. And I got the idea of creating a digital exhibit around the, the changing uh, landscape of uh, religious architecture in Salt Lake City. Um, and uh, I thought that, that would, should also involve uh, updates, uh, newer pictures of, the, uh, of these churches. You can see nothing really much has changed except the, the form of transportation. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, so uh, one of my great interests in this area is how buildings get repurposed. They, they get, uh, they, they're the homes of, of a congregation for a while and then somebody else comes in, in this case an old synagogue downtown that's now a Greek Orthodox church. Um, so I would have to go out and take some new pictures and once, including buildings that weren't around back when these older photos were. And once I got started down that l line, I, I started thinking, why don't I create a whole new collection of uh, photographs showing the, the way the landscape looks today? Um, so that, that's what, what happened, uh, sort of a centennial update on Newell Beeman's collection. Um, and some of the buildings have been there for a century. Others uh, are, are newer. And, Again, repurposing. Uh, uh, there's an older uh, uh, ward house down in uh, the Sugar House area that's now a Filipino congregation. Um, that, this repurposing, it goes from uh, not only from one religious congregation to another in the same building, but, uh, but uh, also some buildings go f from sacred use to, to secular, like the, another uh, historic uh, synagogue downtown. Um, and then it goes the other way as well. Uh, a, a building built for secular purposes, such as a public library on the west side of Salt Lake, uh, is now a home of a Tongan congregation. And, uh, and an old bank on, uh, on North Temple has become a mosque. Uh, and you have examples of private houses becoming church buildings, and there's, there's even a, a Buddhist temple complex that started out as a couple of private residences over there. So I really like how, how people reuse, you know, reuse, that's been a big theme here. Well, this is a different form of reuse. Anyway, so creating this, uh, this photo collection, I wanted to include history, details on the history of the building and, and who occupied it, and I can often find these in in various websites related to different churches. Also, many of these buildings are on the National Register of Historic Places, so I, I found their application forms and register forms online and got information about the history that way. And uh, so I, um, I put, I, when, we, when I put it together, being not only the photographer, the creator, but also the metadata, per, met, metadata person, so, uh, I, I had to do it all. And uh, so among the things I included were, were these histories uh, in the description and, uh, and also links to uh, some of the site, sites where I got the history, and as well as links to, uh, to some of these historic photographs. And uh, I also made sure I included, uh, in terms of spatial detail, I included latitude and longitude so that we could uh, create a, a, a um, geospatial uh, access map uh, showing the locations of, of all of these buildings in town. Uh, and so, uh, there, but this, this project could have gotten really out of hand if I'd let it grow too large. So I, I confined myself to the city limits of Salt Lake. 
Um, I'm only one guy. I didn't want to travel the whole county. <laughs> and uh, I also, you know, there's other limits I could draw on. There are so many LDS ward houses in town, I decided to concentrate on the historical ones and, uh, and, and also not on the sites where, where the building, where nothing remains. And, uh, and every site that was just a short-term residence. So this was just for my own sanity I could, and keep the thing to a, a reasonable size. So that's, that's what I did. We, and this, this collection got up online even before, uh, before we finished the exhibit. It's, but it's, it's all up now, including uh, even on our library blog, a, a little news article about it and, and that location map. You know, I, do these, these, are these things, I wonder if, no, I wondered if I could possibly, yeah, this thing, this thing works. I didn't know that would be possible, but you can actually, yeah. Yeah, the map is live. It lives, you know, like Dr. Frankenstein said. It's alive. Yes. So, yeah. Anyway, so it, it's out there. And, uh, yeah. Here's one of my favorites. You know, I've got just a little bit of time extra. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's not, it's not showing the picture. Oh, well, too bad. There's a pretty mosque on the west side. What's that? Yeah, the, the thing on the right. Is there oh, yeah. What about it? View additional sometimes, like. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's the there's a picture of it. Yeah. So um, <laughs> anyway, um, funny thing. Uh, if if you go to the, this, this, you're not seeing the address, are you? This, this is not easy to manipulate. But if if you go to the address that displaying. I made sure we had the address of each one. If you go to this on uh, Google Earth, go into G Google Street View take, and take a look. You'll find the, the building looks like it did back in 2014. In other words, uh, you, you can do a little time travel through Google now. <laughs> um, I, I think it's funny where you can see what the building looked like five years ago, and that shows Google hasn't been around since then. So. Even Google can be behind the times. Anyway, that, that's, yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, check, check out these different, different sites. Oops, yeah, so anyway, uh, guess that, that was it. <laughs> yeah.